This is the step response of a 10th order system that satisfies the heat equation. Now the system we're looking at is a 10 stage RC filter with 1 over RC equal 10 and an extra 100 ohms going to ground. Now in MATLAB we can simulate that with 10 coupled first order differential equations. At each given node, the current of the capacitor, I equals C dV dt, is the voltage from the left and from the right. Those come together and sum to the current of the capacitor. The net result is you wind up with this type of equation. The change in voltage at given nodes, such as node 2, is going to be minus 20 times the voltage of node 2, plus 10 times the adjacent nodes. Couple for all 10 equations. If we simulate that by iterating versus time, and at any given time I know the voltages and the capacitors, I can find the change in voltage, so use numerical integration and display it. What that looks like when we run that in MATLAB is this. The voltage on the left is the input voltage, currently at 100 volts. It's charging up the capacitors as they slowly charge up, or in terms of temperature, slowly heat up to their steady state value. There's a slight drop off due to that 100 ohm resistor to ground. That simulates a lossy system. Each node is losing some heat to the environment. As you bring the input back down to zero, you'll see it start cooling off, all the heat going to the left. And there you see it cooling down. That would be a system that satisfies the heat equation.